What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy RB. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I create my own LUT using Adobe Photoshop. After creating it, then you're gonna import it in the Premiere Pro. Just stick around, stay tuned. So guys, for making this effect, you have to update your software. Just you have to have an update software, Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So now let's jump on in action just right now. So now here I'm in the Premiere Pro, guys. You see I have those two clips. I just want to put it some color correction. Just want to put the light from Adobe Photoshop. And then, so now let me show you how I do this. So now first I'm going to take the screenshot on my this frame okay so now let me take this okay so now come up here on this export frame or you can use this shortcut Control shift plus e okay so now click here on it and then let me choose the browser where my photo will be so let me click here on this disk okay yeah your image must be in gpeg okay so here you can rename your image okay and then just click ok already my image has been exported so now guys we are going to take that image and then we're gonna import it in Adobe Photoshop this is the one which will help us to make the LUT so now let me open up Adobe Photoshop and then I just want to open that image where is my image yeah this is my image guys okay yeah this is cool Yes, guys, you see on my layer, I have background, okay? So you have to still let it, okay? So now I'm going to use this icon only for making this rat, okay? So now let me click here on it. First, I have to, to edit my picture. Okay, increase uh, this curve okay this is cool and then let me come again guys you have to use this icon only so let me come again on hue saturation so let me just increase yeah the master of all colors okay and then let me choose for example green let me increase this green you see how my green is yeah, is increasing the saturation or if you want you can change the color of this green you see how the things is changed okay and let me choose the blue one okay you have to choose the colors depend the kind of the colors you have here on your frame or or image okay so now i have to increase this blue one okay okay all you can change the color guys you see how the brew is changing okay so now this is done and then come again on this icon okay so now select here on selective color guys i'm editing some i'm putting some colors on my image okay so now i'm edit this skin tone yeah this is perfect guys okay yeah this is cool okay so let me still edit my my blue my blue colors here you see how the things is, is going let me keep edit my my blue one okay so now let me choose another color which i have here in my clip which color i have i have the green yeah i can come up also edit my green you see how it is okay so now let me come up on on black okay let me increase the black here yes yes guys this is cool maybe maybe this is enough and then i have to add some 
but it has more dark okay let me come up here just like this okay okay so guys this those are all some settings which you can use for edit your image okay so now this is before and then this is after so now this is how my video it will looks like okay so now after this i'm going to save these settings okay so now just come here on this file and then click here on export guys is not save as it's not save is not save a copy just you have to come up here on export and then have to click here on color lookup table okay you click here on it and then the format which i want i want the cube only so i have to mute all these 3dl csp icc profile so i just want this cube only okay so now and then after this you have to click okay so now i can rename my lot okay so let me call it rat ps and then i have to save as here on this disk then click save you see how this lot is saved okay my lot is already saved so now let me come up here on premiere pro so now for example i have many clips on my timeline okay so now i have to create an adjustment layer okay where i will put my light okay so now let me drag it here on this timeline above these clips okay i'm going to add my light okay so now you can come up here on this workspace and then have to choose color this is the first way and then let me show you the second one okay click here on adjustment layer and then come up here on effect and then such effect called lumetric color so let me type color it will come lumetric color okay this one so now drag this lumetric color here on this adjustment layer this is rumetry color settings okay so now open up this basic correction this is where you can input your lot okay so now let me browse my light my lot where i have been saved on this disk and this is my lot okay when i open up wow guys this is perfect okay so this is how my video is look like bro let me play and let's see how it is yeah this is my videos okay and then this is before and this is after yeah that is it <sighs> guys if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment see you next video peace